Okay, welcome back to Four Down Territory. This is episode four. Welcome back, Paris, for another good episode today. Hopefully. That's what I'm saying. Uh, all right, so we got four topics to get in here to today. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, four topics, 15 minutes, bang, bam, boom, let's go. Cam Newton is in the news again. Can you guess why? No, what did he do? <laughs> uh, it seems like for the first time in his entire life, not really. He walked out of another press conference. He really loves those. He really, he really loves the media. Um, so, little backstory on it. Um, after rejecting doing a press conference at all for the past two weeks, he finally did one. And then the reporter, simply doing his job, goes, can your offense be consistent? And he rolled his eyes and he goes, next question. And then everybody was too scared to talk, so we left. So... Um, if, you know, we have to remind you, we did a story on this not too long ago on four down territory that he was, he made a sexist comment at one of his press conferences and now he just flat out walks out of them. And if I need to remind you back Super Bowl 50, um, after the game was over, I mean, he was a little mad about losing the Super Bowl. He walked out of that press conference too. So Saw that. Cam Newton versus the media opinion, Paris. He's got a history of doing this, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. He's kind of a kind of a jerk, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's got an attitude towards the media. I mean, if you look at some of the other greats in our in our league over before we were even born, and there's Mike Ditka hated the media, ha- absolutely hated the media. Now he's a broadcaster, but like, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Who was um, that guy that he, he kept saying, "I'm just here so I don't get fired." Oh, Marshawn Lynch! Don't forget about Marshawn I Lynch, dude. Hated media but <laughs> yeah. honestly i mean but i don't know cam's just got to know better man cam's not making it better on him so i mean just for that for the comments he made against uh women you know in that one press conference he's already lost his marketing um contract with dannon so now they picked up dak prescott ouch um replaced by the young gun so I don't know, Cam. I don't know what you're doing, man, but it's not working out for you, buddy. Let's uh, let's try to get some things together. The media respects you. You respect the media. Come on. That's, that's all we got to do here. Uh, next topic, uh, we have to make a correction here on Four Down Territory because I think it was last week I came out and said that it would be Dodgers and Yankees World Series, and I was pretty confident on that. We even made predictions on Yankees and Dodgers World Series because... Looked like the Yankees had everything set, and then yeah, um, they did what they did, and they lost. Now is so now, correction: it is Dodgers versus the Astros in the World Series, and the series is currently tied one to one. And the week that we're filming this, next week, the uh, World Series should already be over. So we're gonna make predictions on the World Series now. Let me just say, both teams are equally on fire right now. The other night. I don't know if you saw the game, but they went to they were in the bottom of the ninth, and I don't remember who came up and hit the home run, but somebody on the Astros came up, hit the home run, tied the game. They went to ten. Dodgers, I think, hit two run home a uh, two run home run, right? And then the Astros came out, hit a home run, and then tied the game up again with a run in scored on a double. And then they went to the eleventh, and the Astros got a home run. The Dodgers did nothing, so the Astros won the game in eleven innings. I think it was. So, um, so yeah, dude, this World Series is tight. This World Series is absolutely like, oh my gosh. All right, so what do you think? Know. Has it been a good World Series so far? Do you, do you see, the, yeah, do you yeah, see yeah, it keep I have, going? I, I don't know who's going to take the. I'm still, I'm, I'm sticking with my gut I here, and I'm saying Dodgers. Dodgers. Well. I'm saying Dodgers. Look at that. Simultaneously. Look at that. I, I'm sticking with my gut here. I said it was going to be Dodgers even when. Uh, back when, back in the divisional round, when the Yankees were still going up against the Indians, I think I was, I was saying Dodgers. So I'm sticking with the Dodgers. I don't know if anybody remembers or if it's just me, but Magic Johnson, does anybody remember that like 
little speech he did at Dodger Stadium or whatever. He said the Dodgers were going to win the World Series this year, and everybody laughed at him. And now they're in the World Series, and nobody thought they would be there. I just wanted to bring that up. Somebody, somebody go find that for me. Um, next topic here. I could send it to your Twitter. Send it, to, send it to our Twitter. If you find that video, send it to our Twitter. At JLawAdvocate. Please do that. No, 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 no. Um, so, <laughs> well, I mean, I could post my own Twitter. Uh, shout out. Uh, I don't even remember what my own Twitter is. I think it's Nicholas Owens. Oh, wait. Follow me. Uh, so, now we're going to talk about Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi's in the news. What do you do? Well, Joe Girardi has been the Yankees manager for 10 years. And he has a 910 to 710 win-loss record. That's positive. That's, that's good. Um, and he has one World Series win to his name. Well, okay. As a Phillies fan, it's kind of hard to say that because back in 2009 was supposed to be our year. But, you know, yeah, Yankees. Um, so... The Yankees are expected to look internally for a new manager, and then if they can't find anything in-house, they're going to externally look and see if what's out there and see what they can find for a manager. Uh, but this is huge news for all the Yankee listeners that we that we have right now. Is he – how old is he? 53. So he's not retired. Oh, wow. No. But I think he doesn't want to be a manager anymore or something. There's something along those lines. I know he's going to discuss with his family and his kids on, like, what the best option for his future is or something like that. I, that's what I read. But I don't know. Uh, it's, it's huge news for Yankees fans. I haven't seen many reviews or, like, reactions, I guess. So I don't know, like, to be honest, I don't know if people are happy or upset about it. I really don't have any sort of knowledge on that. I mean... My first reaction to it was, that's that's huge news. That's a shocker. Yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, exactly. I was shocked because, well, I really didn't see it coming. I don't. I didn't see anything before the year saying he's on the, the hot seat or anything. Or, like, they didn't want to bring him up. He's not getting fired, for the record. He His contract is up, but the Yankees don't want to resign him. And I don't think he wants to come back. I'm not sure. I, I'm really not sure. But the Yankees just... The Yankees just went like off this year. They went they went to the to the ALCS. Maybe they had bad blood. Who knows? Ooh, we never know what's going on in house. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I just think Joe Girardi doesn't want to do it anymore. I mean, we really don't have any like sort of knowledge on what's going on right now. It's really weird. But just to know where do the Yankees go from here, I really don't. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Me Sorry, Yankee fans. Um, so now we're going to move on to our second to last topic here because normally this would be our last topic. And I know we said we we're going to have four topics, but we have five only because we usually do just NFL previews. But this week, college football has such a hot lineup that we cannot go without doing a college football preview this week. So let me get started. Big games, here we go. West Virginia and Oklahoma State, the red-hot Mason Rudolph at QB for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. He travels to West Virginia to try to take on the Mountaineers. Number three, Georgia Bulldogs versus the Florida Gators. That is a huge rivalry game, Paris. Number 14, NC State versus number nine, Notre Dame, the big night game for ABC. And then, hands down, Biggest playoff implications, probably biggest game of the year right here. The Penn State Nittany Lions versus Ohio State Buckeyes. That is going to be huge. So let's get right into some game picks here. Oklahoma State and Mason Rudolph you know, versus the West Virginia Mountaineers. Who are you taking? Uh, I'm going to go with Oklahoma State. I'm taking Oklahoma State as well. Um, just because I think Mason Rudolph is going to scorch that defense. But, you know, both ranked teams. Got to give credit to West Virginia where it's due. West Virginia is a good football team, not, not hating on West Virginia. Uh, next game, Georgia Bulldogs versus the Florida Gators. Who are you taking on that one? You know, I know much. I know, no, not much of them. But uh, I'm going to take Gators. I have seen some of their games from last year. I'm not saying it was impressive, but I mean, I'm saying I saw some of the game from last year, and I'll take the Gators on that. Now, just for this game, I want to say, I want, the logical answer would be the Bulldogs. Okay. 
Okay. It'd be the Bulldogs just because that defense is stellar this year. That it defense is, is absolutely phenomenal. That, the defense is single-handedly the reason why they're in the college football playoff right now. Not saying they're going to be there at the end, but right now they're there. Um, but I'm a Clemson Tiger fan, and I can't see – Clemson took a big L – to Syracuse, and I was not expecting it. I was very upset about it. So, But they're not out. They're sitting at number seven. They just need a couple of pins in front to fall. Hashtag Georgia Bulldogs. So, you know, if the Gators at home pull an upset against the Georgia Bulldogs, that is going to boost Clemson up a lot. They still got other teams in front of them like Wisconsin, and, and I know Ohio State's there too, but Ohio State we'll get to in a minute. The Clemson Tigers need Florida to win this game. The Clemson Tigers are going to be the biggest Gator fans this weekend. I'm going to be the biggest Gator fan this weekend. That is why I'm taking the Florida Gators in this game. Interesting to beat. approach at that. I, I'm just putting my personal preference on there. But the Georgia Bulldogs are obviously the logical answer there. Um, but I'm really, I'm really hoping for you Gators this weekend. I really am. Uh, NC State and Notre Dame, I'm going to take... NC State in an upset. Yeah. I really, I really think that NC State that defense is on that defense is young and they're on fire right now. But Notre Dame, Notre Dame, don't don't discredit them That's either. That's what I was gonna say. They're yeah. pretty good. Seriously, I'm gonna have to disagree with you, Nate. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Tell me why. Notre Dame has always been a really good football team. That's true. So I'm gonna go with them just because I usually base college off of past experience. As you can tell, Clemson always do pretty well every, maybe. Even with they, one loss. I mean, they, last year they won the national championship with one loss. Usually Notre Dame has a loss. The playoffs, they, they're very much like the Rangers. Uh, so, like, back to what I was saying. You know, I'm just going off of past experience, and I'm going to say Notre Dame. Okay, wow. So not only did he, I think, compliment the Clemson Tigers, but I think he just trashed the New York Rangers, too. So everybody just... Attack this kid. Um, Penn State versus Ohio State, Paris. I want to know your personal preference before. And it's in Ohio. So Ohio know. has home field advantage. I, I don't know, to be honest. That It's going to be a huge game. It is. It's all, And I think for Penn State, it's going to come down to one player on that team, and his name is Saquon Barkley. I think that goes without saying. It's going to be pretty... Saquon Barkley is their running back. Saquon Barkley is having a Heisman winning year. No matter who wins this game, it's just going to be a shocker. Whoever, can, whoever not, wins is going to have it's gonna be a ton of better odds to get into the college football playoff. What's their record right now? The other team, it's going to be like their college football playoff odds are going to be stunted. Penn State's undefeated. Ohio State has one loss. Okay. But Ohio State started slow, but they're they're – Fast now. They're much. They're the Ohio State that everybody. I'm gonna say Ohio now. State. You're taking Ohio State at home. Yeah. An upset over the Nittany Lions. All right. We all need a loss sometimes. I'm taking Penn State. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. I think Saquon Barkley is gonna be too much of a mismatch for this defense. I really do. I really think that it's not gonna go well for the uh, for the Ohio State defense trying to stop Saquon Barkley. And I really think that Penn State has been a totally new identity this year. What's, like, just in general. I, don't, I totally think they look like a new team. Um, that's my opinion on it. Uh, we'd like to know what you think. So tweet us at the J Law Advocate once again. Let us know what you think. Um, NFL Week 8 Paris. Not many scream-worthy games this weekend, I guess, but there's a few to get excited for. The Oakland Raiders travel to Buffalo to face on the Red Hot Buffalo Bills right now. I didn't think I'd be saying that this year. Uh, and the Raiders are trying to turn their season around and keep the momentum going after last week's crazy game. Didn't they just beat... Chiefs? They did, and they beat them in dramatic fashion as well. Was it like one point, I believe? It was It was last second touchdown. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. <laughs> and uh, so next big game of the week would be the Houston Texans and the red-hot mobile quarterback Deshaun Watson, former Clemson quarterback, shout out. Uh, he travels to Seattle this week 
to face the Seahawks in the toughest stadium to play in the NFL, some say. So that'll be a huge test for the rookie. Uh, after that, we have the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins in Washington. And then Sunday night football, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers traveling to Detroit to take on Matt Stafford and the Lions. So, Oakland Raiders versus Buffalo Bills. Who are you taking, Paris? I say Raiders. They're going to keep going with their, their winning right now. Ooh. Okay, so two teams on a hot streak. I'm taking the Bills just because home field advantage. All right. I'm taking I'm taking Bills in that one. Just I, Tyrod Taylor is on fire right now. Houston Texans versus the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks. I'm taking Seahawks too. I think that I think that I think the crowd noise alone is going to be too much for Deshaun. He's not going to be able to handle it. Uh, uh excuse me. Uh, Dallas Cowboys versus the Washington Redskins. That's an equally like these are two teams that have still not found their identity yet, in my yeah, opinion. I don't know. So I'm taking Redskins just I'm gonna for. I'm going to flip a coin and say Redskins. Yeah, I will. I'm taking Redskins in this one. I don't think the I think the Cowboys um, are definitely not the team they were last year, and I don't know if they're going to live up to even this game. And the NFL has been weird this year, so I'm just going to take Redskins on that one. And uh, Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Detroit Lions. I'm taking the Steelers for the single reason with all this. You know, Martavis Bryant drama going on over here. He wants out. He's not playing this weekend. doesn't matter. They're going to overcome it. They're going to beat the Lions. And the only reason I say that the Lions are going to lose is because I go back to a couple weeks ago when they lost to the New Orleans Saints, and that game was absolutely wild. And I don't know. They were throwing picks at the one-yard line and touched out. I don't know. It was so weird. But it looked so unlike the Lions that we know. And I just don't think, I just don't think they're going to get it done. What do you say, Paris? I say alliance for other reasons. <laughs> okay, that is our show for today. Thank you for listening to another episode of Four Down Territory. <laughs> we'll be back next Friday. With other stuff. Thanks, Paris.